Okay, this is now the five minute tarot for the 28th of March 2017. And today we're going to look at the Ten of Batons. But first, a couple of days ago, I mentioned about how I do all this myself. And I don't have a, don't have a team and I don't have an assistant. And one or two people took that the wrong way. Because the reason I mentioned that was so that you understand that if you send a comment or if you ask me a question, I may not reply immediately. It may take a couple of days. So I was sort of explaining why I may appear to be ignoring you even though I'm not really. But a couple of people thought, okay, that I don't want to be contacted, which is not the case. So um, it's really just so that you understand why I don't always immediately reply to emails that people send me. Okay, I'm not asking you to stop comments or stop asking questions. Okay, so uh, the Ten of Batons, and you look at this card and we've got the fellow holding the batons and he's stumbling on and eventually he's probably going to make it to his finished product or make it to the goal. But it's funny because batons are supposed to be a good suit, like they're energy and enterprise. And the ace is good, the two, the three, the four, the six is good, card of victory, the eight's fine, arrows reaching their goal. Even with the nine, you've got a bandage on your head, but you've you've been successful and you're in, in, in the the position of recovering now and you're going to get back, get your strength back. So we can look at the 10 and think, what went wrong? How come? <clears throat> What's wrong with the 10? Because it looks like a kind of struggle. It's not easy to carry those batons the way he's carrying them. It looks like a kind of effort. You've got to make an effort. You've got to try. You've got to put energy into the into getting a, a kind of mundane thing done because carrying batons is not that complicated. Not It's maybe important, but it's not that... You know, it's not a sophisticated experience that you're going through. And maybe there's fatigue as well, because it can be tiring carrying those batons in that way. So the ten of batons might represent fatigue and being tired and also a bit of inefficiency, because if you put yourself in the position of the fellow in the card, of it, the, the the way he's carrying the batons all splayed out in front of him is not the most efficient way to carry that particular burden. So maybe if you look at that 10 and think, what's the solution? We sort of looked a little bit at the kind of problems that you might be facing. So the solution could be to pause, stop what you're doing and reorganize stuff or rearrange things. Um, maybe if what you do is you stop and check out what's in front of you because the way he's moving or the way he's represented in the picture, he can't see what's ahead of him. He can see his feet, but he can't see a yard or five yards or 10, you know, half a mile in front of him if you need to look that far into the distance. So maybe the, with the, the 10 of batons, it's important to get the questioner to stop and pay some attention to what's actually coming up or what's in front of them. And what's in front of them might be the goal that they're trying to achieve, right? Maybe look at where you want to end up and maybe decide if you still want to end up there. And if you do, how are you going to get there? Do you need to make some changes so you can get there and arrive and not tired? Um, or maybe what you do is you stop and think about the next step that you're going to take. Because it doesn't have to be the final outcome that's important. It can be the next actual thing that you're going to do can be important to know and to be clear about what it is that you're actually going to do. Because if you stop and look ahead, you can identify any obstacles. There may be potential barriers that are going to hold you up. And if you know about them in advance, you've maybe got time to think about the best way to handle them before you actually reach them. Or maybe it's simply, you're walking along a road, there's going to be holes in the road maybe. And if you know what holes are going to be in the road, you know the kind of thing that you have to avoid. So maybe there are pitfalls ahead that you hadn't considered or you'd forgotten about because you've been concentrating on your feet and what's immediately in front of you. But so it, it occurred to me when I was thinking about this that maybe the basic problem is one of misunderstanding. Because patterns are good, a good suit, but... From the picture, the person isn't seeing how batons are good or that batons are good 
or worse, they're not making correct or good use of the energy represented by the batons. So maybe they're not recognising the energy and the, the sense of enterprise that they actually have. And it would be a good idea, probably, if they were to stop, recognise and understand what the reality of the situation is, and in the light of that, then move forward. But the, the, the word misunderstand, I think, is interesting. And in the long video a few days ago, um, I talked about un to the, the under in the word understand. It doesn't mean beneath, under, underneath, but it means to stand in the midst of. Right. So if the Ten of Batons is about misunderstanding, what you do is stand, you're in the midst of, of something. So stop and look around and get your bearings. And then you're in a stronger position to know the best thing to do or the best direction to go in or what changes to make. Maybe you don't need to make any changes, but at least you're more in tune with what's going on or you're more knowledgeable about what's actually going on. Because the 10 isn't automatically change at this point in the situation or at this stage of development of the situation. There's, there's probably going to be eventual success, right? Because 10 is one plus nothing gets you back to the ace of patents, which is, you know, good and successful. But if, if you continue on the way the 10 of patents looks, then you're going to end up, you, you, you're going to be tired by the time you reach the, the goal. And in some ways, you're not really going to be ready to take the next step or to make a new start that's that's shown potentially by the Ace of Batons. So maybe with the Ten of Batons, you get the question to think about what sort of shape they're going to be in when they arrive or when the, when the thing is finished or when it's done. And maybe consider what you what you could do to arrive in better shape or what you could have done so that you arrived or what you could have done differently so you would be in better shape to take advantage of, um, let's say, the new opportunities that are going to come along with the ace. Okay, that's a couple of points about thinking about the ten of batons. And tomorrow, I th at this point, I'm thinking tomorrow's title is going... Who do we blame when things go wrong? That's it. Thanks for watching. And um, if, again, to go back to the beginning, if you have comments or questions, by all means, let me know. I'm happy to talk to you, happy to deal with uh, questions or comments that you'd like to make. Okay, bye-bye.